So I'm about to put Thiago's ankle to the test and see if he's really injured. No, I'm actually gonna give you the nickname of the caveman. Do you know why? Because you never got a top on. <laughs> Simon says hop in your right foot. Oh no. What? I'm a bad foot. Oh, is he actually hurting? How old is Lorenzo in this, this picture right here? Can you see? How old is he in this picture? It is crazy how it's already been a whole week since the last vlog. I mean, that has gone crazy fast. And a lot has changed, but the weather remains the same. It's horrible outside as usual, man. Oh, but well, that isn't stopping the kids from being outside though. Can't believe you like outside in the rain. Oh, the curl on that Soraya was not bad at all. Didn't know you had it in ya. Honestly, there will be a little chat there, Tiago. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's kind of in the middle of the goal, but it's not bad. Where's he gone? She's been an idiot. Who's been an idiot? Why has Soraya been an idiot? Because she couldn't shoot properly. She can't shoot properly. Oh, <laughs> one crossbar equals one like. Okay, watch me hit the crossbar first ten, time. Ten I'm outside, I'm back in straight away. Can't handle this rain, it's cold ten as well. Crossbars, ten, ten crossbars, 10 likes. 10 crossbars, 10 likes. I doubt I'll be able to hit this one, to be honest. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, you ready? You, Wish me luck. Remember, one crossbar equals one like. Okay. Oh, we ready? Oh man, I'm nervous. Why am I so nervous? Let's shoot the board. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Oh, yes! Crossbar! Crossbar! On the yellow goal! Yes, it did! Did it not survive? Did he hit the crossbar on the yellow goal? I didn't even see it. You didn't I even see it? You turned into a little hater you have. <laughs> I've noticed. Ever since you've got that like, like, little beard coming along. Do you know what I mean? You turned into... <laughs> you turned into a hater. And you. It hit the crossbar. Yeah, it did hit the crossbar. You don't feel the cold, do you? No. You remember one of my old friends back in school? Well, when I was young guys, living my road. Yeah. He used to come out in a freezing cold, no cold, no nothing. And you're exactly the same. Like, it doesn't bother you at all, does it? It doesn't. Seriously. Not it's, it's not that cold, but it's wet though. And it's up wet rain. Have one shot, Sarah, to salvage it. Hit the crossbar with your one shot. Go on, do it. Come on, shoot the ball. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Oh, it went in the box. You got height though. It's decent. Hey, 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 you lot, you lot. Keep the goals and everything else looking clean. I hate that. Come fix this. Look. The rear of the goals is on the floor. It needs to be put back. All right, make sure it stays neat. I know you'd love to be outside in the garden with these up playing yeah. football and that. But yeah, you want to tell the people what's going on at the moment then? Apparently I might have a muscle tear. Yes, apparently you have a muscle tear. Yeah. So without you faking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already joking. So basically, yeah, Lorenzo's gone to day release. Yeah. And then basically he sent me a picture of him in the physio room. So the physio said what? That I might have a muscle tear. Yeah, so. It could either be 20 or 20, 30 days. Yeah, up to 20, day, yeah, 21, 21 days. 21 days. Yes. Yeah, injury. Yeah. It's hurting you already, isn't it? Mm. It's only been one day, mate. It's crazy. <laughs> do you know what it is? You don't often get injuries, do you? No, I don't. That's the thing. So when you do get injured, it's like, oh, what's going on? I bet you don't even know what to when do. I get, when I get injured, I try and play on it for a bit first. Yeah. And until it's un like I can't play on it anymore, then I'll go in and say I can't. So what, is it unbearable at the moment then? It was where I couldn't run on it. Yes. You couldn't run at all? No. So when you walk, does it hurt? It was, yeah. It, even yesterday, it was hurting when I was walking. What about now if you walk? It feels fine now. Does it? Ice it. Don't try anything crazy. Yeah. What's the physio said you got to do? I sit and then go in to swimming pools and walk around and jog. Okay. And then like dig my heels into the floor. Yeah, you've been I doing see. it. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to go David Lloyd later. Yeah. So you can go to swimming pool then. Yes. But just rest it up. Don't try and do anything crazy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Outside, you can see them out there. But don't try and join in with all the fun. All right. <laughs> I'm not laughing. But you know what I'm saying, isn't it? You yeah. can't try and rush it back. All right. Yeah. Just take your time with it. Okay? Yeah. Alright, cool man. Nothing else going on? Nothing. No? No. Nah. Your hair needs to be sorted out though. What's going yeah, on with this I'm hair? Take, yeah. No, I'm taking it out now actually. Yeah, take it out, definitely. And then get wash it and that, do you know what I'm saying? So your mum can sort it out again. Yeah. Doesn't look good at all. I wish I later. So once again, Tiago and Marcelo's room is having another makeover. As you can see, everything's all over the place. Again at the moment. Literally, we're having a difficult time. What's happening is, yeah, they've got way too much toys for the bedroom, basically. Yeah, yeah. So every single time you come into this bedroom, there's literally toys everywhere and not only that there's Lego everywhere as well Thiago's trying to copy your uh, football boot thing innit? He is. I think it looks good though. Do you know what, have you not seen? Mine. Yeah but you didn't have the lights on yours or did you? Yeah. Let me let me switch the light on yeah and, and show them innit? Okay so this one is oh look see this is what I'm talking about exactly what I'm about look at that look at whoa yeah but my, oh my, my. Yeah. what though he's got the boots in there like that I don't know why he's put that in there but he's got the boots in there like that there's missing boots where's all the boots gone honestly he's wearing some outside he's wearing some yeah yours didn't look like that though did it mine was bigger and had more stuff on it it was bigger but he's gonna the get the big green one in it the big greenish one do you know it's he's trying to do everything he can yeah, yeah. to try and beat you in subscribers I know. he's trying to catch you up man yeah. he's only on like six thousand almost seven thousand subscribers yeah, at the moment. 
don't need to start this, you know? I know he's doing well though, isn't he? Yeah. Do you know what I really do like? It's refreshing to see. What? When you and him make videos together, yeah. I love that, you know? I know you think, oh, it's cringe, oh, yeah. He's a little idiot. He's an idiot sometimes. Oi! What? You can see me as I was looking at me. Is he? <laughs> Okay, he's gonna score, he's gonna score. He's trying to round the keeper. Oh, 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 just shoot, just shoot, no, just no. shoot. I keep saying to him, if you <laughs> see the goal, just shoot the ball. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, he's trying to catch you up, but it's nice when you two make videos together. And a lot of people keep saying as I, well, yeah, that it brings back crazy memories when you used to do the boot on back Yeah. And it really does. You two are like twins, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. But that being said, I looked at another Texas Kid video over there, your first ever video. Yeah. And you look more like my cello than Tiago. I know. Do you know what I mean? Weird, isn't it? It's weird, man. Swear down. Speaking of myself, I've been seeing what the kids he? doing. Dance, there's a thing. It's a bit too quiet. So, in a minute, I am going to begin the next phase of sorting this room out, which is putting their new wardrobe together, which is going to go over there somewhere. We're going to have to try and fit everything in perfectly because at the moment, it just isn't working. I mean, that looks good there, but we're running out of space and I hate the bay window, believe it or not. It's really annoying. In the winter, it's way too cold. In the summer, it's too hot. And then it's literally, it's just, it's just too much, too much. And and you can see all like the, the toys from outside when you look up to the window. Hi Marcelo, Hi. you're right. Yeah. You being a good boy in here. Yes, look at your face. You look suspicious, honestly. Still drawing on the walls. That don't seem right at four years old. I don't think that that's not right. You shouldn't be drawing on the walls at four years old, should he? Do you know what I mean? I can't remember when you, when you were four of you doing things like that no. at all. You don't draw on the walls, I'm serious. If you want paper, you come ask me for paper. Okay, okay. Yeah. These kids, honestly. Swear down. He's a Mr. Delicious though. Yes, he is a Mr. He's cute, but still though, I'm not having a drawing on the wall. He's still business. naughty though. He's still super naughty. I just don't get it. It's so irritating. It's unbelievable. I just do not get why he would draw on the wall. It's a rainy, gloomy day, but what is missing? What makes it a little bit more gloomier? That's right, guys. Big V has officially left the building. I did put something up on Instagram and TikTok. A little montage of our last moments and greatest moments with Big V, aka the V class. And yeah, it's crazy that we don't have the big van no more. I'm not gonna lie, I really, absolutely, really, 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 really do miss it. And I cannot wait for the new one. So much so, I think we might need to get something in between until the new one comes out because we miss it that much. Also, guys, you know what? time of day is guess the age of lorenzo greer i'm gonna do this until i run out of pictures literally i know you guys have been loving it in the comments I feel like the, most of the comments are age guesses of lorenzo have a guess on this one i don't think it has any spoilers in it this one's gonna be a hard one i'm covering the actual one on the side the age of what it is that's why my hand's in the way but how old is lorenzo here he has looked like he's got a bit of blonde tips there he hasn't had blonde hair for ages leave your guesses in the comments below also while you're down there don't forget to like the video so, as always, Lorenzo is going to announce the winner who guessed the right age on this picture here. Guys, he was under 14, so Lorenzo, you would have been how old? 13. And who have you picked? At Luke, man. At Luke, man. Well done, you was correct. And what did he say? He said, in that photo, Lorenzo is 13, as I think it could be because of the Mbappe boots. Also, love the family, and it always brings a smile on my face when you guys upload. Shout out at Luke Man for getting the correct answer on the photo. And guys, don't forget to go down and have a guess on the next one. And guys, can we get 3,000 likes this video? That would be absolutely amazing. Yes, OG. I'm bringing the Tekka Skid. OG Tekka Skid yeah. right there. Also, while we're in Lorenzo's room, quick pit stop. The door fell off. Glass smashed everywhere all over the floor. Head. Fell on his head. Head. There's literally millions of pieces of glass. It was the opposite one to this one that yes. smashed. So rather than fix it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this door off. Yes. Yes. Fix your chest of drawer area. Yes. Paint it all the same colour as the outside of the doors. Yes. Get some nice new like matte black knobs or something on there. Paint all inside of here and have this one just open and exposed. And what do you think? You guys would have bought LEDs for it. Yeah, we've already bought LEDs for it. So we can put LEDs like all around the top. Yeah, I think it'll look good. You do keep your wardrobe kind of clean anyway so it's not like having it open you're gonna be hiding mess i'm not gonna pant up give a pant up no, actually pant up. pant up because what is that up there those are old clothes old clothes why have you got old clothes i don't know why have you not thrown them away or got rid maybe or hand them down i, threw them away. I put them up there because they're old yes but they're not worthy of being thrown away because okay. someone else probably using okay sort them out for me and i'll sort them out for whoever they will fit i can see tags so hence the reason why this here is new 
What is it? What's this? Is this Tech Fleet's bottoms? Yes. Why are they up there then? I think it's because I didn't get a... a he didn't get a matching top, so you can't wear no, it. No, no, no. Don't I be, just, don't be an idiot because you can just put that with a white tee. It's got a bit of a blue night I, tick. I must have, yeah. Yeah. I must have just shoved it in there because yeah. I thought it was... I thought it looked uh, like something else. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought it was... Before I, I give them away to somebody in the comments, you better just say I'm going to wear them. You're going to wear them? Yeah. Yeah. These are the lights that are in Tiago and Marcelo's room. And I must say, I actually feel like getting in the car right now and going back to Costco and grabbing another couple of bucks is because they are the same lights we have in the games with that go around the top the really heavy duty ones but i'm not even gonna lie i'm pretty sure they were like 30 pound even i don't even think there was even that much i think after tax i think it was like 20 something pound we need to get at least two more boxes of these right so the other day i went on instagram and i put up a little question box saying we haven't done this in the ages ask us some questions some information some people are new some people haven't been and watched the old q a's so we thought we'd add a few of these questions in this vlog right I have a couple of questions here. First one, who is the messiest kid? And that's on Jed Fletcher. The messiest kid, the messiest kid in the house, by far, can I say two? Yes. First person. Boy and a girl. Soraya. So messy, it is unbelievable. Like crazy messy. Like think of you messiest person in your house, yeah? And the times it by about four or five. <laughs> She's <laughs> unbelievable. Crazy messy. No, do you know what it is, yeah? I feel like she thinks that she don't create mess. That's what I think. In her head, she thinks, I don't make mess. I don't create mess. She makes loads of mess. She makes She's a lot of mess. Proper messy. Her and Sienna share a room as well, so it's always a nightmare because they're always arguing. And Sienna's always kicking off because it's saying, yeah, it's not my no, mess. No. They're all her clothes. Yeah. Granted, Sarah has about five times more clothes than Sienna because she's really into clothes. So Sienna's like, it's not my stuff. Yeah, she's messy. However, if you go into a drawer where she keeps her makeup and stuff, oh, yes. that's perfectly clean. Pristine. But everything else is a mess. Yes. And then the second person, if you're asking me, I probably would say is mellow. And I'd know. say, Ma well, Marcelo and Tiago are little kids. Have you been in Mello's room recently? Yeah, I know, but Tiago and Marcelo yeah, but, create a lot of yeah, mess around the house. They are six years old and four years old. Mello is a man. I know. He's messy. Yes. Like crazy. You he know always what I'm has been. His desk is all in the absolute mess. No, he's messy. It's Sarah and Mello for me. Sarah and Mello. Okay, so uh, what was your job before you started YouTube? Did you go to university? Well, I went to university, yeah. Yes. I went to college. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that far. Hence, because obviously uh, we had, what, four kids when so, we started YouTube. So we had Tiago, Lorenzo, Sienna, and Soraya. So Nathan had gone to college. No? Did you go to college? I went to university. Yes. Yeah, I done IT. And then done this. You were in a teaching course beforehand, didn't you? Because you worked in the school. I worked as a teaching assistant in school. Believe it or not. You never believe it, would you? Surprise! Yeah, and I was yeah, going to be even though I like an idiot and all these bugs, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I was actually going to be a teacher yes. before all this. Mm -hmm. And obviously this Nathan has inside. a lot of knowledge, a lot of facts. What, you went yeah. to university? I went to university. And yeah, got a yeah, degree yeah. in what? Do you know what? I, I didn't finish with a high grade. I finished with a third, you know. But the reason why I finished with a third is because my dad passed away. Yes, yeah. but he was also doing YouTube though as well, wasn't he? No, but before that, yes. obviously I missed like literally eight months of university. Yes, she did, yes. Do you know what I mean? So I missed eight months of university, still passed with a third, but obviously if I would have proper knuckled down, probably would have got a 2.1. You know what I mean? You would have got a third. You would have got a third. I wouldn't have got a I think you would have got a third. I actually do believe Nathan could actually go all the way and be a doctor, you know? Ah, I could. I think he could. I think he could. I ain't gonna lie, yeah? So now sometimes I feel like I know more than that time. I'm not gonna lie. He sometimes actually does know more than a doctor. I went to college. I done nurse and I wanted to be a nurse. So I done half and half of social care. Finished my level three. I didn't carry on after that. I was gonna go and do a university course be nursing, but YouTube took off and it was like, what is the point? working 70 hour days, so I didn't bother in the end. Yeah. Another question, is Lorenzo considering sixth form or college after school? Sixth form or college? Is he even thought that far in front? No. Then I'll be to ask him. So Lorenzo, technically, he will get a football scholarship. Yeah. And then he will go to Birmingham City or wherever he gets his scholarship full time. Yes. And he'll do education there and football there. Yes. That's what happens when you go to an academy, you follow the path. Yes. Until you either make it into the first Unless team. he turns around one day and says, you know what? I don't want to play football no more. I'm sick of football. Sick of bones, sick, sick of everything here. Yeah. I actually just want to go to college or university. That could happen. Very unlikely. Extremely you unlikely. Know. You never know. You never know, but I think that's that's very unlikely. But yeah, so there is a path already when you're in academy to follow on, so you can go and do your studies at football and do football. Usually leads on to like if you don't end up making it for the first team, you usually become coaches or yeah, know, stuff like that. So they've always got some sort of foundation yeah. there. If you want to stay in football, you don't have to. There's a world outside of football. People always think that when you do football, yeah, yeah. like if, if it doesn't happen, you're not playing the Premier League. Yeah. Like that's it. I'm not a footballer, so I can't do anything. Listen. League one, league two. Listen, there's so many things. <laughs> no, outside of football, oh, there's so many coaching. things. Coaching, go to America, no. go coaching. Yeah. Nah, forget oh. football altogether. 
I see. This is me. I don't want to get carried away. An hour? No, I don't want to get carried away on the vlog. I'm talking about the Q and A's and stuff. Yeah. Q and A. Yeah. But people think that if you don't, you might get to an age you're not want to play football. Yes. You might get to an age you get an injury. With Lorenzo, I've never set him up in a way to think that if Football's football doesn't way. happen, yeah. that he is stupid and he can't. Obviously, he's got loads of things to fall back on. Obviously, he's got obviously YouTube. You're got got making it seem work. like football's on its own. Oh, I thought you might be improv. Work in television. Premier League. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Well, be a TV presenter. He could make more music. Sky, Sport, Sky Sports. He could carry on doing YouTube. Do you know what I mean? He could run his own social media entity. He could be an agent. There's so many nah, things. There's a lot of things you can do. You know what I mean? It's not just about football, but hopefully, obviously, for him. Football is the end goal. One more. And we'll do the rest of the number one. More. Okay, dream car. What would your dream car be? Sorry, we haven't been putting out the names. This is from Will. What yeah. would your dream car be? My dream car, yeah, yeah. Mm, um, not too many. I don't really have one at the moment, you know, honestly. Sport for no, my dream car when I was young was a Lamborghini. I already had a Lamborghini. Do you know what I'm that box is ticked. The box is ticked. The little list of things yeah, you want when yeah, you're yeah. younger. I was, I was very underwhelmed. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Underwhelmed? No, I, I, I love that car. No, I love the car. Do you know, I don't want to ruin it for anybody yet because like, when you're young, like 10 and amazing, yeah. You always think, oh, I want to drive a Ferrari or Lamborghini. Yes. As a boy, usually, that's what that's what you say. And then when it happens, don't get me wrong, it's nice, because you're like, oh my God, I'm in Lamborghini. You've achieved it. And I think literally, it's the achievement more than the car. A couple months later, he's not bothered. Well, I say, <laughs> I think it's more the achievement. I think when you can know that you've achieved something you've dreamt about for a long, long time, all your life, when you've achieved it, it's more of a satisf satisf it satisf is. satisfaction. Yeah, of course, it's, the, yeah, it's that more than anything else. So the dream car, if I had to say something, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. What a Bugatti you? Veyron. Veyron, that's yeah. old now, man. Oh, Bugatti, the newest one. Don't yeah. even have no, the I don't know. I don't know. What would your dream car be, Tiago? Um, black Lamborghini. A black, black Lamborghini. Lamborghini. <laughs> a black Lamborghini. <laughs> you heard it here first. I have a car. What car would you want? A golden Lamborghini. A golden Whoa. Lamborghini. So today, Lorenzo's doing his first ever training session. Lorenzo? Oh, Tiago. So, oh, oh my, my God. God. This is what it does. So much football, Lorenzo, that makes me, do you know what I mean? Say his name all the time. I like the kit though. Do you like the kit, Tiago? Yeah, I do. Do you like the kit, Tiago? Yeah. Do you like the boots, Tiago? You know what I mean? And he's also got some new boots as well. Yes, messy boots. Some messy um, boots, which is on Bucks on his own channel. And he's got skins on. You look like a proper footballer. He's already, footballer. you know. All you do is a new trim, that's all. Oh, leave Dad, leave me alone, man. <laughs> well, hurry up, because you're already late, man. Do you know what I mean? Already late, and... Uh, Fashionably late, though. Sienna and Sarai have already started to do their training session as well. How do they feel? Are they not on you? Oh, they've got sock on them as well. They've got sock on them, but and laces. Oh, they? Hello. That is, no, no, it's all right. It's okay. You're, no, it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. I can't start. <laughs> right. Honestly, my Saturday, Sunday, I was like, put them on, please. Bro. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> oh, you. Honestly, I just oh, love you. <laughs> thank you. I'm coming to tell myself. Give a big hug from you both. Take care. All right. <laughs> see, care. see you later. See you oh yeah, yeah. You both do. Yeah. Take care. See you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah, He's finally back. Come here, let me do a bow. Come here, come, 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 come to me. Cookie come Tiago. Me. I'm not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? How long has it been, man? That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Good to see you, bro. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a while since Sienna's arrived. Right. I've come and done an, um, a training session, but they're back today trying to get them sharp and they've got a big game tomorrow. Well, not a big game, they've got a game tomorrow. So hopefully they're nice and sharp for the game. Soraya has come on so much, technically. Oh, <laughs> Soraya's come on so much technically. The only thing about Soraya is, yeah, in a game, it just disappears. I don't know if it's like nervousness or whatever. Do you know what I mean? She just doesn't put in a proper shift. Um, in training, she looks really good. Not bad, Shnocky. Not bad, not bad, not bad. But yeah, so we're just trying to work on her confidence, man. The more she plays, I think, the better she'll get. But um, yeah, she's technically perfectly fine. Just a little bit slow. But she hasn't been playing for nowhere near long as Sienna has. Alright, follow your pass. Twos, yes. Shuffle, yes. Twos, yes. Runner, slide over the ball. Finish. Get it out your feet. Oh! Alright, follow your pass. Come on, early. Yes, yes, pop it. Yeah, oh my god! Yes, 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 Oh, oh no, unlucky, unlucky. Hands, good, and again, yes. Not bad, Tiago. Strike around the ball. Yes. 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 Yes
<laughs> Goals getting into football, man. Well done, Thiago. Hey, I am good. Yes, look up. Right, I believe it's safe to leave Thiago at training, man. Um, I was a little bit nervous because Thiago can be really funny. Sometimes he wants to play football, sometimes he doesn't. But at the moment, he seems to be having a whale of a time. And if you also live in Birmingham and you want to get coached by Dill, who's a really, really good trainer, then go and check him out. Dill's coaching. Dill's a good coach, isn't it? Yeah, really good coach. Really good coach, man, really, honestly. Really good coach. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, get in touch, man. Does one to one sessions and everything as well. Yes, he does. Yeah, what's going on? I think it's nice and warm in here. It's Is freezing it? cold. I'm calling the car now. It's sunny, it's but it's freezing. freezing. The finish yeah. I've just got my drink in it. So oh, okay. They'll come out after. He's minutes. doing good. Hello, baby. You're right. He's got Sarai's phone. I'll send him Has he? Well, I'm getting in now. I'm getting All in. Right. right. So while we're waiting for them to finish their football session, I thought I would go through some more of the Q&A questions. We have Lorenzo. Marcelo is actually in the background on a phone. Okay. So first question. Would Lorenzo want to move to another country if he could? If he would, what country would it be? If I could, yeah. probably America. America, where the? Florida. Florida? Oh, Miami or Los Angeles. Miami, something. Miami, Florida. Yeah. Why would it be because of the weather? Weather and stuff. Yeah. Or Spain. Why Spain? Football and the weather. And it's quite close to it. Yeah. So, we've got Miami, Florida or Spain. So he might move there. Another question for Lorenzo. Has Lorenzo got a girlfriend? No. No. Straight up, no? Sure not, not even speaking to nobody. No. There's nobody like milling around. No. Okay. So he has no girlfriend. So all the girls that are watching this who were panicking and thinking, oh no, he hasn't got a girlfriend. And he isn't gonna get have a, have a girlfriend until he's 18 years old. Yeah. More questions. How should I deal with an injury in football? I have the rest of the season off with a knee injury. This is from Evan. Go on, Borg, I'll give you that one. Okay, so you do what the physio says. You do rehab properly. Probably ice it and you just rest in it. Also, but what about like mentally? Because I know sometimes when you don't play football, it really gets to you, doesn't it, in your head? No, you can still do stuff, but just... But what if this person can't play no football? Maybe go to some games and that, or watch a team play. Yeah. Get outside a bit, don't stay in the house, because yeah. you'll get depressed. Yes. I would recommend, even though I don't play no sports, just keeping your mind active, whether that be playing other games that don't require you to stand up. Yeah. Not saying live on your games console or play computer games or whatever. Even board games or, I don't know, do you know what I mean? Like, just keep your brain active, read, do you know what I mean? Drawing, colouring's really good, you know, them, them really technical colourings or painting. Just do something that you probably wouldn't have thought to do. Do you know what I used to do as well? All the time when I was bored, I used to do model, clay model, modelling clay, get it from Amazon for like five pounds, create some random crazy thing. Yeah. Just keep yourself active on it. Yeah. Just don't sit down doing nothing because it will really, really get to you. Okay, how old is each member of the family? I'm gonna leave this one to Lorenzo because he literally knows everybody's birthday, probably the time they was born, literally, right. off by heart. There you so, go. So, dad's 36. Yes. You're 36. Thanks for airing that out. Okay, yeah. Melo is 19. Yeah. I'm 14, but I'm 15 next Friday. Yes. Twins are 12. Yes. Thiago is six. Yes. Marcelo is four. But Marcelo's five this year. The twins are 13 this year. Melo's 20 this year. And you and Dad are 37 this year. What, you couldn't even take up two years and make Dad be older than me? <laughs> All right then, what about the um, Sakana? Sakana is turning, it's turning three this year, isn't it? Three, no. You're wrong. He's turning four this year. Four? Four. Sakana's four this year. Beanie Man. He's has to be gone on 10. 10? Right? He's 9 this year. Is he? He's 9 this year. And the cat, Scolzi. 1. 1. When? Literally like two days before my birthday. Two days before Lorenzo's birthday. So that's everybody, including the animals' birthdays. What made the twins do football? I'll speak for Sienna because I know Sienna pretty well. She's always been into sports, always wanted to win. If you guys remember Twin vs Twin channel, Sienna was literally dominating that channel. She won everything. She was really confident. Sarai was more like timid and girly. Sienna has always been into football. She's played with Lorenzo in the back garden and loved it. And I can't remember what it was. She was, was talking about it, about joining the team. And I looked online, literally looked online. I found somewhere, phoned the first, messaged the person. And they said, I'll oh, bring her to training. So uh, they said, oh, the, 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 the squad was pretty big, but bring her, we'll see how she got, gets on. She went there, she loved it. She absolutely smashed it. They wanted to sign her straight away. And that is the end of it Soraya now joined Sienna's team because she wasn't doing anything she was coming to the training sessions and watching she was coming to the games and watching she was doing gymnastics at one point she was doing gymnastics at one point but that was like it was far to get to she had nobody that she knew doing it so she was a little bit kind of like mm, 
take it or leave it. So I said to her, why don't you just join the training sessions? Just don't join the team, join the training sessions. So she joined the training sessions at Sienna's football team. And I said, oh, she might as well just sign. So she signed, she plays, she plays literally every week. She does get on the pitch for at least like a quarter of the game. Yeah. And they've got a game tomorrow. Yes. So I'm pretty sure she'll play in the game tomorrow. But yeah, they're doing both, doing really well. Sienna is the one who's probably going to go Aww. and do like academy football yeah. in the near future, hopefully. Maya's just playing it for fun. Maya is definitely for fun. She does enjoy it and she is good, but it's more for leisure for Maya. Okay, so another question. Can Lorenzo do a day in the life? You've done many day in the lives on your channel. Too many. Yet? Loads of day in the lives. I wouldn't say too many. I think you've done a, quite a few like through the ages. I don't think you've done one. Like the past year? Yeah. No. So I think maybe an updated day Actually, in the life. Actually, I think I have. Like going day with this and I didn't have a session in that. I don't remember. And then we went to swimming pool with David Lloyd. Oh. That was on Finger though. Oh. That was on your TikTok. Lorenzo's TikTok is, I can't remember what your TikTok is called. The real TK official. That's Lorenzo's TikTok account. Put it there for you guys. So many, there's so many screen. fakes. There's so many fakes. Lorenzo has had so many TikTok accounts at one stage. I think he was on like four, 400,000. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then it yeah, just got yeah, shut yeah. down because TikTok yeah, just yeah. shuts everyone's accounts yeah. down. So far, so good with this one. Tiago had one, by the way, guys, which I was absolutely screwing about. Tiago had a TikTok account, right? He had it for like four days. Videos were flying, over 100,000 views on his videos and that. Stacking up bare followers. What happened? He got banned. Can't mm -hmm. believe it, man. It's so annoying. People want to see the content, but then the people complain about the videos. This makes no sense. And then you got people up there doing fake accounts, getting bare views using our old footage. And it's like, what the hell? How can this work? Do you know what I mean? Anywho, probably start him number one where he can get verified straight away because he's been putting up videos on his YouTube channel. If you guys haven't checked it out already, the GOAT has a YouTube channel and he is doing good videos over there. It's like OG tech a skin to be fair. I am not happy at all. I am not happy because the other day I got a phone call from Lorenzo saying that his brand new, well it's not brand new, his monitor that he's had for about what a year, if that, has been smashed. So basically there was a massive smash mark here. So this expensive, I think this one's 500 pounds yeah, monitor which is disgusting it's so dirty was smashed so i've come back and i've quizzed him about it because i'm not happy about it at all lorenzo seriously i'm not joking it's not funny at all not laughing yeah look at the camera yeah go on enlighten everybody else being since you think it's funny go on i threw my controller at my monitor yeah exactly so you threw the controller at the monitor because you're losing a fortnight probably fifa fifa pro clubs i missed the sitter yeah so they were all laughing at me they were all laughing at you but it's not funny though, is it? I'm not laughing. So now, look at the monitor you've got, and that's temporary, that's not even your monitor. No, this is my old monitor. No, you're not getting it back. I've confiscated it, you're not having it now. Serious? What? This is mine. No, it's not your monitor. That's, I had that before that. No, that's my monitor. Which you for gave the, to me. No, for the other PC that broke down yeah, his room. Yeah, you get this one But too. it's still mine, and you broke your monitor over there. So obviously, I need like, mm, I don't know, some sort of punishment for you. I'm hoping someone in the comments no, section no. can come up with the because, perfect no, punishment. No, Yeah, I'm serious. You've done all, all the chores. Yeah, you've done some chores this week because of it. No extras. I told you. What did I say to you, yeah? I said to you, you've got a lot coming to you for smashing that. Just because it can be replaced doesn't mean you can just smash things at all. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? Mm -hmm. You can't just do that, man. Because seriously, when you're growing up, you're living in your own house and all that stuff, and then your kids come smashing things off. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You'll be screwing. You can't do that, man. I swear down. £500, you know, and you throw a uh, control pad at it. Cause you're losing my I think, I didn't even throw it. I you're more angry no, dad, on dad. FIFA than you are in real life and you dad, used to mean people. I what? threw the controller at the desk. It's bounced off at the desk and hit the good monitor. Irritating boy, man, I swear down. It's all right, you'll be watching in uh, micro, micro form anyway. <laughs> and that small little screen for a little bit until I decide to take it off, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you've got a nice little punishment for Lorenzo, if you feel evil and you want to put something in the comment section. Or forfeit. It could be anything, not a forfeit, a punishment. A punishment that could last two or three days, yeah? <sighs> Let me know any good ideas. What did your parents make you do as punishments? Let me know in the comment section below and I will make it happen. Oh.